So let's go ahead and define what the debugger actually is and what it's used for. The debugger is just something that allows you to confirm your inputs and your outputs are working properly. So think about it like this. If I type in a code and I try to get my robot to do it and it's not working, what if the code is perfect? What else could be wrong? Your motors or your sensors might not be plugged in right. You might not have them typed in right, assigned correctly. There's a whole lot of reasons why your code could be wrong. So use your debugger window to test your motors and your sensors. If your motors and sensors are working in the debugger window, then you know it's not the motors and sensors. It has to be the code. Do you see how this helps you find bugs? So that's, that's basically what it's used for. It's, it helps you find bugs in your code. Too easy, too obvious. Let's go ahead and talk about pseudocode for a little bit. What it is and what we will use it for. Essentially, your pseudocode are just comments or notes about the code. So basically, comments or notes about the code. What we will use them for mostly in this class is translating our code to English. It's a good way for me to check for understanding. If you can turn your pseudocode into code and your code back to pseudocode, I know you can read and write code. So translate code to English. But other reasons why you might use pseudocode, code, excuse me, is it might help you troubleshoot your code. So what I might do if I'm having issues is I might write my pseudocode first. I might write what I wanted to do without writing it in code, just write it in English line by line to try to get an idea of what I'm trying to write and then translate it to code after I figured out what process I'm trying to get the robot to do. And so therefore it's used when planning code, which you will do whenever we get to our projects, when we're building and designing and programming our own robots. So used when planning code. 